help change that kind of attitude when our veterans who put their life on the line, and I want to make sure no other veterans goes through what my brother-in-law went through. First of all, I thank your brother for his service. Uh, and so many of our, our warriors coming back, especially during the Vietnam era, were never acknowledged, never saluted, never got the benefits that they deserved. Uh, it's not too late for us to make sure that every single veteran gets the benefits and the respect and the honor that they have earned. It is not charity. They shouldn't have to beg for disability payments. They should not have to wait in long lines to get medical services. We promise them these things. When they sign up, we say, you serve us, we will serve you when you come. And we have not been true to that promise. And it's scandalous. I sit on the Veterans Affairs Committee. I sought that seat to make sure that we would, that I could move everything I could to make sure veterans were getting cared for. When I went to visit Walter Reed for the first time, now John McCain's going around saying something about I, I didn't visit troops in Germany. You know, when, in fact, we were just trying not to politicize it. Usually when I go to visit troops, we don't take any cameras, nobody knows about it. First time I went to Walter Reed, I was talking to some of our wounded troops. These are kids, 20 years old, had their leg blown off, lost their eyesight. Turned out that the Pentagon was charging them for their meals and their phone calls while they were recuperating at Walter Reed. I could not believe it, and I immediately went back to the United States Senate, and we changed that right away. And we made sure that they no longer had to pay for their meals or for the telephone call. So, I, so I've been fighting these fights, and here's what we're going to do. We are going to make sure that the VA is fully funded. We are going to make sure that every single veteran who is discharged, that they are properly screened, for post-traumatic stress disorder, for brain trauma, that they are not only getting physical health services, but mental health services. We are going to eliminate these categories of veterans who are not getting uh, medical care because the, 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 the VA says that they're making too much money. Well, in fact, if you're making $35,000, $38,000, a lot of times they're saying you're making too much money. That, that's not acceptable. And we are going to make sure that we have zero tolerance for homeless veterans. If you have served in this country's military, you should not be sleeping on the street. I don't care who you are. I don't care why you ended up homeless. We should end up 